Hello and welcome back. Today we will touch base upon logical and conditional Excel functions and we will learn if, ifs and or functions. So let's get started. First is the if condition and it has three arguments. Let's try to break it down. The first is the function name if and it is the way of telling the Excel to check something and do something based upon this check. Obviously, the first argument is to check this logical condition whose output will be either true or false and we can give a single cell or range of cells as input and we need to use the comparison operators to test the logical condition. Second argument will come into play when logical condition is true and we can provide any value as input to this argument. It is like taking some action if logical condition is true. Following the same logic, Third argument will come into play when logical condition is false and again we can provide any value as input to this argument. Next function is ifs and it has two arguments. Let's try to break it down. The first is the name if and its meaning is same as before to check and to do something based upon a logical condition. The next is the letter s and similar to sum ifs and count ifs function. Here S stands for series of if condition, sequence of if condition or plural form of if condition. The first argument is the logical test one and we can provide a single cell or range of cells along with comparison operators as input to check any logical condition. And the second argument which is value if true one is linked to the first logical condition and if the first logical condition is true. This argument will return the value which can be any value or range of cells. This function can be extended to multiple logical conditions and each of the value which is returned is linked to its own logical condition and is typically identified by numerical sequence 1, 2, 3 and so on. The next function is AND and has multiple logical arguments. Let's try to break it down. The name of the function AND literally denotes the AND logic condition meaning the output of this function will be true only if all the conditions are true. We can give any single value along with the comparison operators as input to these logical arguments and test the logical conditions. The output of each logical condition will be either true or false and as stated before the final output will be true only if all the conditions are true else it will be false. Typically, we use this function in combination with if function to test multiple conditions and then take the action accordingly. The last function is OR and it is almost similar to AND function. The only difference is AND function requires all the logical conditions to be true to get the final output as true while OR function requires any one logical conditions to be true to get the final output as true. So finally, we are done with all the basics. Let's jump back to Excel and see some practical examples. So we are back into Excel and this is the sample data we will be using as an example. This data has employee names, their department, years of experience, their salary and performance rating. We will try to answer these four questions and the answer for each of these questions will be below these four columns. So the first question is to check if the employee is eligible for bonus. And the criteria is the experience must be greater than 5 years. Let's add the if condition. The input to the logical test argument will be to check if experience is greater than 5. If this condition is true, the employee will be eligible for bonus. If it is false, employee will not be eligible. Close the bracket and hit enter to get the output. Drag this formula to all the cells to identify employees who are eligible and not eligible for bonus. The next question requirement is to assign the bonus percentages based upon the performance rating. We need to assign 20% if the rating is excellent, 10% if it is good, 5% if it is average. So let's start by adding ifs function. The first logical test will be to check if the performance rating is equal to excellent. If it is true, then the value will be 20%. The second logical condition will be to check the same performance rating is equal to good. If it is true, then the value will be 10%. Similarly, the last logical condition is to check if the performance rating is average. If it is true, then the value will be 5%. Close the bracket and hit enter to get the output. Drag this formula to all the cells. 
to calculate the bonus percentages for each employee. We can also format these cells into percentages to see the actual values. The third question is to check if the employee is from sales department and has more than 5 years of experience. We can use AND condition directly to check both the conditions and since its output is either true or false, we will not have control over the output of this function. So we will use AND function along with the IF function to check both the conditions. So let's start by adding IF condition. As an input to logical test argument, we will use AND function to test multiple conditions. The output of AND function will go as an input to this argument. The first logical condition is to check if the employee is from sales department. The second logical condition is to check if the years of experience is greater than 5. The output will be true if both the conditions are true. Let's close the brackets for AND function and that will bring back to IF condition. And if the logical test is true, the output will be yes. If it is false, the output will be no. Close the bracket and hit enter to get the output and drag it to all the cells. By combining AND and IF conditions, we can control the output as per our requirement instead of regular true or false. The last question is to check if the employee is from HR department or has excellent performance rating. Now here we need to use OR condition and it is similar to using AND function along with the IF function. So let's start by adding IF condition as input to the logical test argument. We need to use OR function to test multiple conditions. The output of OR function will go as input to this argument. The first logical condition is to check if the employee is from HR department. The second logical condition is to check if the performance rating is excellent. The output will be true if either of the conditions are true. Let's close the bracket of OR condition and that will bring back to IF condition. And now, if this logical condition is true, the output will be yes. If it is false, the output will be no. Close the bracket and hit enter to get the output and drag it to all the cells. I hope these examples has given the clear picture on how to use the logical conditions in Excel. And that's what I wanted to cover in this video.